and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going back to the other worlds in this latest tournament of my Let's Play. Last time I went off, we went in, um, found out Graham, who is the leader of the, um, people in the Amber Heights, actually portrayed them. Or sort of portrayed them. And now we're gonna do a companion quest for. Part of. Uh, her. <laughs> hey, you got a minute? Yeah. I can't believe I wanted to shake his hand. I need a shower. It makes you wonder if being a treacherous, two timing coward is some sort of contagious disease or if he was just born that way. Is this about Graham? Or, um. At first, I liked what Graham was doing. The Iconoclasts were going to change Halcyon for the better. But then, we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally bankrupt lead a movement to transform the colony? Corruption. Don't go looking for Laurel Malls, Felix. You're just asking to be lied to. Graham's a piece of trash. You don't have to remind me. Clyde was my hero for a time. We both know how that ended up. You'd never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? Never be killed. Yeah, the only people I saw uh, we killed were, um, camels. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's get back to it. I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. Yeah, we... We aren't gonna do that. <clears throat> I mean, the only people we literally killed so far that I re even remember were camels. And they already killed someone, so. They're in that. Try to keep. <clears throat> For the most part, try to keep everyone. Terry's. I am short. Oh. You guys can't see anyone, can you? It's probably sealed. S street access, okay. I was going for the Tari's. <clears throat> happen around here for once nothing wrong with stability it means everything's running like clockwork Hi, ATM, level head. don't you ever want a little fun you need you a level head that's going to shift overhead what a shame what a shame what a shame hey you yeah you want to be famous who is talking to me janitor Oh, I think it's this guy. Kid, you got presence. Natural magnetism. Know what I mean? <laughs> I'm so I'm not buying. There's those street smarts. Just the right amount of rough around the edges. Next time, we'll have you say that over the rim of a tripper stout. Product placement, baby. Listen, uh, you got an agent? Some kind of representation? No, what? No, I consider my fr myself freelance. Is working for some mad scientist kill? <laughs> A mad scientist? Guy sounds like he's moonlighting. Here's some free advice. If you want to make it in this business, you got to work with professionals. <coughs> Listen, you got a real special quality, raw energy. I see you in pictures, kid. Just tell me what you're offering. 
I'm making a feature, Space Pirates of Moros Prime. It's gonna be a hit. But we still need a star. And I think you got the chops. Boss, we have to. Your pal's got the right idea. He's also got a certain expendable look. Bring him along. We've got a lot of stunts to shoot. He's what not that expendable, though. You ready for the chance of a lifetime? He's my favorite companion. I'm in. Terrific. We're holding auditions at the studio. Head to Odeon Pictures and take the elevator. You're going all the way to the top, baby. Yeah, with that me and my uh, mustache, oh, okay. I should show people. <laughs> Where is it? Inventory. Yeah, me and my mustache. I love my hair though. Benefits of smoking your real type, none of the messy skinny ones. <clears throat> Prosperity Plaza. More like Consumption Junction. <laughs> I think I'd get arrested if I climbed up on that to get a look at the drinks. But yeah, no one hurts because the, um, the Palex. He's my favorite. <clears throat> I've always loved With the hips over here, everyone has hips. Closer look at you. <coughs> uh, uh, uh. Don't speak. Hold that posture for a moment while I admire you. You have a natural contraposto, my dear. The way you rest your weight against your hip suggests a certain rugged charisma Are possessed the capital? only by the mighty primal and the well traveled spacer. Splendid. I love it. I swear we're in the capital. I'm getting Hunger Night uh, Games vibes. <laughs> you can tell all that by the way I'm standing. Tell me, rugged, well traveled. That's me, rugged and well traveled. That's the most precious thing I heard all day. Your walk. Your posture, the cut of your clothes, you carry yourself with the bearing of a noble, but you dress like a barbarian. How deliciously outré. I'm Celeste Jolicoeur, and you, my dear, are exactly what Byzantium needs. Well, I'm, I'm um, Candace Arundine. It's like you read my mind. Are you trying to sell me something? I'm an artist, darling, not a tweed merchant. I don't sell things. I pollinate the world with art. I'm working on a new line of clothing that will shock this city to its core, and I'd like your help. What do you say, my dear? Care to make history with me? Uh. Marvelous! You and I are gonna wake this city up like a cold splash of wine to the face! What I need is a survey of the outside world. What does the common laborer wear? How do the wild-eyed madmen of Monarch dress themselves? I've heard rumors, but I require samples. Also, I expect you to model for me. Well, it's best they can see me wear it. You just get to wear my looks. <laughs> I can't blame you. <laughs> My dear, fashion is a performance art. An outfit without a body is like an... I'll need you to model for me the following. The apparel of an iconoclast, the armor of a marauder, and a full ensemble of spacer gear. Helmet included. And when I say spacer gear, I mean an outfit worn by real spacers. None of that garbage spacer's choice pedals. You have the bearing and... I'll see what I can do. <clears throat> I 
I can't. What can I do for you? If I were an enterprising spacer in need of a war, you don't gotta be. Let. Uh, uh, no. Let. Love. I don't get why that's fun. There are some things I simply cannot skimp on, darling. Now stand up. Okay, we got her. And there we are, my... What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I wish... Oh, can you believe this outfit? Let's go and get her done. Crew report, Miyoka is drunk. Surprise. I swear, next. Okay. Oh, you mean Sam? Nah, but... Huh? Oh. <laughs> like, I can't... I can't make her leave. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> it's like speeding in there, like... Wait, I can make her leave. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. All right. You look terrific. Oh. I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now. I don't need your help. I can do it on my own. What did he say to that? Have at it then. Only he handed me your favorite recipe. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special. I'm having the best time. Some of the cable routing in here is sorry. You need. Oh yeah, let's.
we talk? Hey, Captain. Next time we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. What's up? I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. And Crew report, the Yoka is drunk. Surprise. Okay, Captain, she's gone. How did it how did it go well? I'm near about vibrating. I'm so excited. So she got here and well, she sneezed. She said, "Wow, new soap." And I was like, "Yeah, rosish." <laughs> Turns out it tickled her nose. Oops. And then she just sort of touched my arm real gentle like and called the cut of my outfit elegant. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. Then I led her into the kitchen. I think she about cried when she saw the spread. So you laid out the meal, brought June in, and started the music? She stood stock still and just said, Oh, real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, is that dust bat casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us, so it was double authentic. Made by a real live monar monarchian? Monarchist? Monarcher. So the meal went well? The dessert too? Well, we talked a bunch over dinner about the things we learned just through messages, stuff we repaired, how I taught her to salvage and she taught me to build. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary, said she had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. And? I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong. Smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. She, she talked about the things she admired Aww. about me, like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. And what happened next? Don't leave me in suspense. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! And then she sneezed again. On account of the flowery soap. That's so sweet. Congratulations. It's all on your account, you know. Imagine if you'd never taken me out of Edgewater. I'd have never met Jun Lei at all. I don't know nothing about the Vicar's capital P plan, but you've sure changed my life. So, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna head to my cabin and happy scream into my pillow for like an hour. Aww. Okay, so...
go back here or that? Oh boy. Okay, so let's go hack. Hey, how are you doing? I don't know, Ellie. Clyde was the one friend I had since I was a kid. I don't think I'm getting over this anytime soon. Better him than you, right? Yeah, I tried telling myself that already. Didn't work then, ain't working now. Thanks, though. Captain, we should chat. Graham's uh got the right idea, but he isn't the right guy to execute it. I don't even think he's motivated by philosophism anymore. I think he's just guilt-ridden. I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I keep going over and over it in my head. And the only way I see the iconoclast surviving is we depose him. Let's go talk to him. Okay. Deep breaths. This is what's best, Sora. Time to save Monarch. Captain, you must be back with the access codes to our new ship. Graham, we need to talk. We have work to do. This isn't the time for one of our spats. Um, sh yeah, she's gonna take over. What? Zora? You're running the Iconoclast into the ground. And I don't believe it'll get better after we take Stellar Bay. The troops take orders from me already. And you've... You've brought me as far as you can down the eternal path. It's time to step down. The troops... Listen to you. This isn't an army. They aren't soldiers. They're believers. Followers. They pick up a gun because you tell them to, not because they want to. And you, Captain, after all you've done for me, for us, you throw behind this mutinous blasphemer? I do. She got the best interest in the Thakaras. She got the best interest of them in the heart, so... I built this movement from the ground up. I've brought freedom to Monarch, and all these years later, we're still free. I joined because I believed that you were in it for the Iconic class. That you wanted nothing more than to bring freedom to Halcyon. That you were selfless. But I know the truth now, Graham. I know what happened in Amber Heights. You didn't start this movement because you wanted to save us. You wanted to save yourself. No. Those dust are in your hands, Graham. 
No male meditating will clear them. I've spent years atoning for my sins. I've studied, meditated, taught. I built the iconoclasts so that any man could cast away his past for a fresh start. That's your answer, Graham? You needed a fresh start? After all those innocent lives? I'm sorry. I believed in you once. I did. But it's over. Stand down. I won't. What happened back then was a mistake, and the colony has moved on. This is my movement. These are my people. If you want to lead them, you'll have to kill me. That isn't necessary. Please, don't make me do this, Graham. If this is where my path ends, I accept it. But as long as I draw breath, I will not abandon them. So be it. That's the last of them! I'll take a ship. Well, Captain, here we are. Killed a lot of people in the name of the Iconoclasts, and it never feels right. But this time, it's especially wrong. You've got the... Lloyd, help me. I'll never remember what that thing is called. The device from the ship. Do you have it? I think you join, could join forces. I've thought about it, but I think we're too far gone. Pulling Carlotta's support was crossing a line. It has the cover resources you can use to spread the message. You know, Captain, I never thought about that. Maybe he could be taught the eternal truth. Spread the message from within the corporations. All right. If he's willing to talk, I'll give him a chance. Well, then. I've got to prepare a few just-in-case measures. But when you're ready, let's meet at the old OSI church outside Stellar Bay. Let's go, Beth. Let's go over there. Make everyone agree. See, I only, I only kill when it's necessary. When they Here's start where I can't get over. Clyde wasn't always friendly. He wasn't ever polite. But he was always on the level. You always knew where he stood. Now I don't know what to think. I don't know if he was ever straight with me. Did he ever believe in fighting the board, or was he just feeding me a story? Don't take it personally. Hey, thanks for coming. I wish I'd had more time to prepare a proper analysis on the costs and benefits of your proposed union, but uh, I suppose we'll have to improvise. That's a spirit. Gotta admit, I really thought I was walking into a trap here. I'm ready. I get the feeling this is gonna take a while. Sanja, Stellar Bay's got food and walls. And my people need both. If you'll have us, we're willing to share the space. Do you have any idea what that would cost? Why, drawing up the budget alone is going to take weeks. You don't have weeks. Not good enough. I need to move a fair amount of my people into the city. We need shelter, Captain. I suppose some of our healthier folk could offer aid. Some of us need to stay in the city proper, though. Truly? A compromise? I'm not sure I'd ever have heard as much from Graham. Graham was a murderous fiend. And I'd be shocked if you didn't already know that. Something tells me that Sharon, he didn't know. 
This feels like one of those times when everyone at headquarters but me is laughing at something, but you two aren't laughing. Amber Heights, you hallhead. Ten years ago, Graham had all those people killed. What? That's not possible. Even for him, that's going too far. It is. We found uh, the correspondence but between Noel and that the means I had no idea, I swear. Look, we were both fed up with corporate leadership, but I, I never guessed he'd do something like that. Mr. Nandi says he don't know a thing. I say we take his word for it. You can't take bureaucrats at their word. You back someone into a corner like this, and they'll say anything to get out of it. Yeah. Okay, okay. You're right. Sorry. It'll take me a while to get over losing Graham. You know, I felt the same way years ago, when he first left. There was something magnetic about him that let you ignore the things you didn't want to see. But surely you know what that's like. Yeah, I... I do. Okay. If you're willing to house and supply some of us, I'll have our more capable soldiers help out. Glad to hear it. Hopefully about the... I'm hopeful about this alliance. alliance. As alliance. am I. Oh, I can feel my blood pressure lowering already. Thanks for coming out, Sandar. I, uh... Guess I'll see you at Stellar Bay. Never doubted you for a minute, boss. Can we talk? Yeah. So, we're just gonna march straight into Byzantium and acquire some rare chemicals right under the board's nose? I sure hope you negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Why do you say that? Ever notice how this job gets bigger and more dangerous every time he calls in? He's asking a lot, Captain. Makes me wonder what your angle is. That's yeah. one way of looking at it. Another is that he pulled you out of hibernation without your say-so and got you to do his dirty work. Besides, none of this is your mess, so why go dirtying your hands with it? If... So... All I can do is fix it? Guess I hadn't looked at it that way. Still, Phineas isn't your only option. The board's put a bounty on his head, and they've got more than enough bits to pay it. I've got no love for the corporations, but they know how to take care of their people. The ones at the top, anyway. I'm not going to become a corporate racky. <laughs> Don't think of it as being a lackey. Think of it as doing a job and getting paid really, really well. I know you want to save the day, but don't forget to look after yourself. No one else out here is going to. I know I'm going to send today. I didn't know you cared. Hey, don't get any ideas. I'm just making sure you last long at and can. Nora's going to leave. What about you? The intrepid crew of the unreliable brave the wilds of Monarch on today's episode. <laughs> okay. I love Vigo with the looks. He's literally my favorite. Excuse me. I should save. Wait, I should go to the ship. Yeah. 
because I finished that one, I should say. An invert. They're always doing that. So I'm going to save and end it for today. If you like my video, please subscribe and like the, uh, like, uh, please subscribe and like the video, please. It'll help a lot.